Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will be showing you how to create this illustration. This is my first video so it would be super helpful if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've also linked my Instagram account down below where you can check out more of my work. Now let's begin. First let me show you which brushes I'll be using. We have the Monoline brush which comes with the Procreate app. I'll be using this brush to create outlines and draw shapes. Second, we have two of the airbrushing sets. They also come with the Procreate app. I'll be using the soft airbrush along with the soft brush. These will be mostly used to shade and soften solid colors. I'll also be using a textured brush. Now I'm using the Gracia brush by Jungle of Colors. I'll add the purchase link below. But you can use any soft textured brush you like. It doesn't have to be this exact one. Finally, I'll be using the Luminance Light Pen to dot the stars and the inking technical pen in a few places as an eraser. And that's it, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you recreate the illustration, make sure to upload it on Instagram and tag me. We're starting out with the monoline brush in white to draw a circle. Hold your pen after closing the shape to make a perfectly round shape. Then hold your finger on the screen while still holding the pencil to make a perfect circle. Now just adjust the shape to the center of your canvas. Using the monoline brush as an eraser, erase the area where you want to draw the bottle spout. I will be placing mine on the side. Go back with the brush and draw the spout edges. Now create a curved line to close off that spout. Hold your pencil on the screen to perfect that curve. Duplicate this layer two times. Then select the top layer and draw the second edge of the spout. After holding your pencil to create the curve, you can tap on edit shape to adjust. Now hide the bottom two layers and erase the bottle keeping only the spout edge. Now we're going to fill one of the bottle layers by dragging the white color to fill in the shape. Now let's duplicate the spout and fill it up with the white color. Make sure your outline layers are on top of the fill layers. Now with the soft brush, smoothly erase the middle of the shape without removing too much color from the edges. I find it helpful to check the layer thumbnail to see exactly how evenly I erased. Now go to the soft brush. Continue to do the same thing on the bottle spout. When you're done, bring down the opacity of this layer to around 33%. Next, add a new layer and place it at the very bottom. Choose the light blue color and create a circle. Remember to hold your pencil and your finger at the end. We now have a perfect circle which we just need to center on our previous shape. Fill out your circle with the same blue and place the layer between the bottle and the spout. Now on the same layer, let's draw the blue sky leaking from the bottle and fill it out. The next step we're going to create a new layer to start drawing our pink clouds. Tap on the blue shape and select it. This will ensure that when we draw on the new layer, we will only be drawing within the blue layer's edges. Increase our monoline brush thickness and draw your first cloud with a light pink color and fill it out. Now 
Add a new layer and continue with the rest of the clouds in the same way. As you draw further clouds, keep deepening the pink color to give a depth effect. Next, we will be shading the blue sky with pink. Using the soft brush, slowly work your way down. Now, decrease the brush size and add more pink to the leaking sky. Come back with a deeper blue to define some edges. When you're done, do the same with a deeper pink. This will give your shape more depth. Moving on, let's shade the pink clouds. Turn on alpha lock for all the cloud layers. Alpha lock ensures that you are only painting inside the shape already drawn on the layer. Choose your textured brush in a very light pink color and let's lighten the cloud top edges. Now go in with a deep pink and shade the bottom of the inner clouds. As you can see, the illustration is already showing so much depth. Alright, the clouds are looking good, now let's start with the boat. Using our monoline brush, draw the boat shape and fill it out with this dark navy blue. Make sure you close the shape before filling it out or else the color will leak out to the entire canvas. Now on a new layer, draw the back side of the boat and fill it up with a slightly lighter color. Now, we're going to decrease the monoline brush size, choose a very dark blue color, and draw a black line to form the boat pole. Hold your pencil on the screen to create a perfectly straight line and adjust it. Now on a layer below the line, let's begin to draw our boat sails. Use curved lines and make sure to hold your pencil at the end of each curve to avoid any squiggles or imperfections. Thank you. 
As you can see here, I tapped on the edit shape to adjust my curve. Now on a new layer, draw the boat's little flag on top of the pole. Now tap on eraser, go to the inking section and choose the technical pen. Adjust the thickness and start by pressing down and then slowly lighten the pressure to create this effect. Next, we're going to shade our sails with a textured brush. Alpha lock both layers and lightly shade the inner side with a light gray. Now repeat the same shading technique with a light pink. Next, we're going to shade the little flag with the same brush. Darken the middle where the flag creases and lighten the edges. Also, make sure the alpha lock is on for this layer. Now, alpha lock the pole layer and shade it with a light pink from top to bottom. Now let's move on to shading the boat. Turn alpha lock on and slightly shade the top with white, then darken the bottom. Come back with a medium pink color for the outer edges. This is to show the clouds color reflection on the boat. Shade the inside of the boat with a light pink. Next, we're going to give the front cloud a little more depth. Duplicate the front cloud layer, then flip it horizontally. Now, just adjust the size and rotation of this cloud. Choose the soft airbrush as an eraser and lightly erase the edges. Keep erasing until you feel like this layer is blended in. Next, we will be dotting the stars in using the luminance light pen brush. As you go, make sure to apply different pressure for each star to make them look more realistic and give them more depth. Move on with the same technique for the sky leak on top. Spread them out and keep them natural. Back to the monoline brush, draw a white circle and fill it up. Lower the layer opacity and duplicate it. Now slightly move the top layer so that the difference between the two layers forms a crescent shape. Tap select on the top layer and delete that selection from the bottom layer. To do that swipe with three fingers for this little menu to appear and tap on cut. Continue by deleting or hiding the top layer. Now we have a cute little crescent. For a glow effect, we're going to duplicate the crescent, choose the bottom layer, go to adjustments, and select Gaussian Blur. Drag your pencil across the screen to increase or decrease blur. 
Now this step will add a very nice effect to the glass bottle. Select the soft brush, decrease size and draw a circle inside the bottle. Patch up that circle with the soft airbrush eraser. This will give the bottle a really beautiful shine. Next, I'm going to empty out little holes in the leaking sky on top. This will give it a little life and movement. Make sure the holes you're drawing are not symmetrical and do not look the same. Now for the last element, I'm going to draw a cork hanging from the bottle. With the monoline brush and the light beige color, create an oval shape on top of the bottle spout. This will be the rope that the cork will hang from. Erase where the rope wraps around the bottle. When you're done, duplicate this shape and drag it down. Do the same a second time. Now for the third shape, distort one of the edges toward the bottom. Now let's draw the rest of the rope. Alpha lock all of the layers. Go to your textured brush and let's shade all these rope pieces. Shade the outer corners with a dark color. Now combine all three layers leaving out the rope strap. Lightly shade the middle in white. Now darken the rope string with a textured brush. Back with the monoline brush and light beige. Draw an oval shape to form the top of the cork. Fill it out and continue to draw the bottom of the cork with a darker shade. Fill out the layer and then alpha lock both layers. Switch back to our textured brush 
and follow me as I shade different sides to give the shape depth. Now switch back to the monoline brush, use different thicknesses to create little holes in the cork. When you're done, alpha lock their layer and shade the left side of the little circles with white texture. Finally, let's add the shadow to show that the bottle is floating. Draw oval shapes below our shapes in a dark grayish blue color. Hold your pencil on the screen to create a perfect oval shape. Fill it out and move on to the next one. Now go to adjustments and add some Gaussian blur to your shadow shapes. Do not go overboard with the blur, keep it minimal at around 5%. Now get ready to soften those shapes with the soft airbrush eraser. When you're done, re-soften the shadow edges with your textured brush as an eraser. This will maintain the theme. Make sure to leave the middle of the shadows darker than the edges. That's because the middle is where the element above it is closest to the ground, so it leaves a darker shadow. You can also bring down the opacity of the layer to soften the shadow even more. And we are done. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer all of them. You can also comment some suggestions on what illustrations you think I should do next or if you want me to explain more about certain techniques that I used in this video.